Right then, we're going to help with the bang with this one. So I've got 5x minus 3a as a modulus of it, and 3 lots of x plus a, uh, x plus 4a. So the, if you think that's a 3x, so this one's going to be steeper. So the 5x minus 3a being quite steep could be something like this, crossing our 3a there, and ooh, that's going to be 3a over 5, I reckon, for here. And then I've got a shallower one, so that's my modulus of 5x minus 3a. And then I've got three lots of the modulus of x plus 4a. So I've got a shallower graph now. You think about it, if you expanded it through, that's going to be like a 12a that it crosses out. And it's going positive, so I've got something shallow. What I'm trying to do is shallow for here. It's not going to be to scale. It can't be to scale, really, can it? Because that crossing point there is a 12a, that point of intersection. Um, right. <laughs> so that's a little bit. So it's not to scale, but you get the idea. Right, then. Okay. So let's find the points of intersection. Let's do the signs the same. Now, the signs the same and the signs different is on the modulus part. So what I've got is like a plus 5x minus 3a is equal to 3 lots of a plus x plus 4a. So we've got to be careful with that. It's just the modulus bits. So I've got 5x minus 3a is 3x plus 12a. So 2x is 15a. x is 15a over 2 there. And that was my original parts of my graphs. So that will be this bit here, won't it? 15a over 2. Or box around it, so I know I'm interested in that one. Signs, signs different, I've got to be careful of. Because it'd be like 3 times by minus x plus 4a if I did that one as the minus. For ease, I'm going to make the 5x minus 3a my negative, and then leave the x plus 4a as my positive. So I've got minus 5x plus 3a is 3x plus 12a. Uh, so I've got an 8x, I've got a minus 9a. So minus 9a over 8 is my x value. So that kind of makes, so like minus 9 over 8 is quite small, isn't it? So it's over in here, this one, on the negative. So that's minus 9a over 8. Right, so where am I looking? I'm looking where this, the blue V, I've done it in colour, so the blue V uh, is less than or equal to, so it's below the black shallow V there. So where's my blue bit below? Uh, hang on, where are you? So the blue bit is below my black bit between these two there. So it's one contained bit, so it's minus 9a over 8. Because it equals on the inequality, 15a over 2. Where my x belongs to the real numbers. So it's that. There. There we go. Wowzers. Right, there's one for you there, this one. Please try this one without using the answers. Don't just copy it, is what I'm saying. For those who just copy, there. So this one down, we don't need these minuses. Arr! So this is the signs same. And this is the signs different. So you see how she's kind of took the five through and the four through. I don't, I'll leave it out at the front and then take it through later. I'm just a little bit more cautious, is that all. So 
So I've got some random values. So I've got 37a over 4, which will be that value. And I've got 13a over 6, which is that value. And they want where... Uh, they're looking at that part, aren't they? The x values there, and the x values there. There we go. So we've got an R in it, two different bits. Do you reckon we're done? Must be done now, surely. Yeah, consolidation the exam, that's it, done. So I quite like the really, really nice modules, I suppose. Much far better than range and domain, anyway. Right, see you later. Bye bye.